how to create a landing page in Canva for beginners. Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can make a attractive looking landing page for your website using Canva. So let's get into it. Now, the first thing you might be wondering is why would you make a landing page in Canva instead of actually making it on your website builder or website editor? Well, there are a lot of things you need to keep into mind when you're building your website and sometimes you're not able to get that kind of customization on a website builder as you would with your own hands. So that is why sometimes I suggest that people should make a good little landing page on their Wix or for their Wix website using Canva and that is going to help them in reducing the work that they have to do and it will also give you a good cohesive brand design to start working on now. To create your landing page on Canva, first off, you need to decide the frame of your design. So you're just going to click on custom size over here. You're going to change it from pixels into inches, and then you're going to add whatever width or height that you think it fits best on your website. Now, this just depends on what kind of website framing you have. So this website is a full a landscape website so a frame for this is going to be larger while a website like this which has been made in portrait mode specifically it is going to have a narrower canvas to work on so depending on the size of your website or landing page you're going to add the width and height so what i like to go for is probably a 16 by 12 and i find that this is a pretty decent size to work on so just going to make sure that this is inches not pixel and then you're going to click on create new design and the reason that you want to make sure that your ratio is correct is because your landing page is going to represent your entire brand and your landing page is going to have broken up pixels if the size that you choose is too small so always go for bigger is better because if it is larger then you can crop some stuff out but if it is a smaller landing page than you originally had thought of then you're going to have to expand it and that is going to ruin the overall quality of your image now once you have this opened up we're just going to zoom in over here and now let's say we are trying to promote some kind of service so so let's say that we are looking to create a landing page for some kind of service and we're looking to create like a person with a basic background and a service description. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go into the element section and I'm going to search for person or first I'm going to search for background. And you can find many different backgrounds on the Canva platform. Now, if you want to change the color of your background, you can definitely pick one out of the graphic section and you're going to be able to change the colors for stuff over here. But if you're fine with a solid little background, you can pick one out from over here. So I am going to just scroll down and see all of the different uh, options that I have. So you can see over here that this is a pretty cute little background and pretty and pink and i'm just going to open this up like so now you can see i have loaded this background and what i'm going to do now is i'm just going to go into the element section once more and i'm going to search for a person so i'm just going to upload a person's image and i'm just going to search for one that i like now i can't find any image that i really like over here but Maybe I should go with the animated one. So I'm just going to go and continue with this animated image. And then I'm going to place it to the side. And once I have this placed to the side, I can just expand it like so to fit my overall look. And I think I'm going to change the background from here because animated styles don't work well with these kinds of backgrounds. So I'm just going to search for a different background. I'm going to go for a lined background. And I'm just going to open one up over here. So this looks pretty decent, so I'm just going to expand this, place it over here, like so. And I'm just going to copy and paste this, control C and then control V, and place it over here as well. I'm going to move this to the front, and I'm going to make sure everything is nice and aligned, like so. I'm going to move this to the back like this so once you have done that you're going to expand the image that you have for your person and i can change the colors for this to make sure that they stand out as well if you feel like the colors for your person are not being noticed enough so you can change them to colors that are not already in the background and that's going to make the person pop up so after doing that you're going to now add some text so 
We're just going to go into the text section and you can pick one of their font combinations or you can add your own heading and then edit it yourself. Now, I would suggest that you actually go with their font combinations because Canva has some really beautiful font combinations. Now, what I'm just going to do is I'm going to add this one because I think this looks pretty good and I'm just going to resize it over here and I'm going to add the text. So the pro animators and I'm just going to expand it like so, move it down over here and I'm just going to maybe change up the font and then I'm going to add some more text saying hiring open like so. And once you do that, we're just going to expand this like this minimize it and then move it down so we're just going to drag this entire thing down and if you feel like your text is not looking as interesting as you would what you're going to do is you're just going to make sure that you have this selected and once you do that go back into the element section search for a square and once you search for a square just open up the basic one over here and then you're just going to change up the shape to fit the text that you want to highlight. So I'm just going to place this over here, add my text in front of the little box that I have created like this, move it over here like this, and then we're going to add this over here. And what you can do is once you have added this uh, little section, you can actually add a hyperlink on your website. So you can go onto any website builder like Wix and add a actual button for the hiring form or whatever hiring process that you're going through. You can add a form for that over here and that is going to help people into actually start doing call to action from your website. So this is how easy it is to create a basic looking landing page. So we're just going to click on download from here and then you can download it in any form that you want. Go and download and then you can go on to any kind of website builder and create a new site. Upload this image and just add a singular button. Don't add any kind of pages or any kind of navigation and you will have a simple and ready to work with landing page. So it's pretty simple. We're going to click on the create new site button and you can start off with a blank template to not waste any time and if you're looking to create anything simple then you're definitely going to be pretty satisfied with the kind of design work you can do on canva and how it has a lot of liberty that you might not have on wix or any other website editor so we're just going to click on edit a template and then you're just going to click on blank templates over here you're going to click on start from scratch and then you can just upload your basic image and your website is going to be ready to go. So from here, you're just going to click on this plus icon and add the image and you're going to be ready to go. So that was it for today. I hope you guys found this video helpful. Make sure to like this video and subscribe to the YouTube channel and comment down below the best tips and tricks that I have taught you within this video. And make sure to also share this video with your friends and family and to other creators as well so you can help them out as well. And to anyone that might need to know this basic detailed platform and how you navigate through these different social websites so i hope this was helpful enough for you and make sure that you do leave a comment down below if i missed out on anything and if there is anything you would like to add and i will catch you guys in the next video